2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. If it's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it can only mean one thing. Welcome to Cleveland, Ohio. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. And they'll have some minutes to make up for with an injury in their roster. Compensating for the absence of a key player can be difficult, but they've got to hold strong. So here's Miami's starting group. Bam Adebayo is out there with Trevor Ariza. Then there's Jimmy Butler. Then it's Kendrick Nunn. And it's Robinson in at the shooting guard. And for the Cavaliers, Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Okoro out there with Kevin Love. And it's Allen in at the five, roaming the paint. Well, this seems to be a game that could be very tactical, Greg. Both teams relying on execution in the half court. And, Kevin, you're going to see a lot of ball movement and body movement. And you can't just stand around and watch one guy go to work. I think that puts so much pressure on the defense with how the game is played. And an emphasis on coaching, too. Yes. And so it's the Heat hitting on the board first. Now, here's Okoro. Got a hand on it. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's Nunn trying to get open as Butler. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Here's Sexton. Pass to Okoro. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Jimmy Butler. It's his first trip to the line. At the line for two. Shoot for two. That's good from Okoro. He doesn't get the second one. The Heat have gone two or three here to start out the game. Robinson passes to a reason. That shot missing. Good D by Love. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Butler on the way. Pass to Autobio. And Autobio throws it down. Well, terrific floor awareness from the crafty swing that Jimmy Butler playing the role of facilitator. Here's Sexton. Here's a Coro. Some solid defense from Robinson. Nothing going right on the offensive end. Zero for four from the field. None passes to Butler and stolen by Sexton. Now, here's Garland. Guarded close. Misses in close. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. I know Trevor Ariza has been a bit of a journeyman, but he is also a proven champion. On the defensive end, you know he's going to take pride in locking down his man. First free throw is good. Oh my gosh, I just got that. All free throws good from Trevor Ariza. Oh my gosh, I just got that. Cavaliers have gone 0 of 5 here to start the game. Start for them. Passes it to Allen. He kicks it to Garland. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Here's Love. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. 
And I think this is what makes Kevin Love such a tough matchup. His ability to score from anywhere on the floor. Well, one thing that Kevin Love will always have is his passing. He'll be one of the best deep court passers until the day he retires. And we know this, Greg. He took his inspiration with that ability from the great Wes Unseld. He, too, an incredible passer, easy opportunities at the rim in a jump start of the break situation. Just two incredible guys at what they do. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. The Heat shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Free throw, good Butler. There is a certain skill and intensity every single night that Jimmy Butler brings to the table. And the pass to Love. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Just five on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. The shot by Sexton, no good. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Robinson, that's good. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip, and guys are making their shots. That's critical. Now, here's Garland. No points in the game yet for him. To the paint, here's Butler. Ariza trying to break loose. It's Butler that time on the assist from Robinson. Robinson's got three assists in the game. At the elbow, it's Allen. Okoro kicks to Sexton. They need this. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Elite rebounder has always been a descriptor of Kevin Love's game. This guy takes tremendous pride in that aspect. Now, here's none. Adebayo uses the glass to finish the layup. Autobio's got six. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Sexton. Up and in. It's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. How about the soft touch on the floater from Colin Sexton? You must have that in your arsenal. None finds Robinson. Outside Butler. Puts it up. No good off the back of the rim. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. None with it. Garland picks him up. Here's Butler. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. comes in for Okoro. Bielitsa, he checks in for the Heat. Girl comes in for Robinson. And good that time. Sexton's got his second bucket. Well, Sexton showing that he's more than just a jump shooter. Very comfortable on the interior against size. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Adebayo with the ball. He's got six. The Cavaliers trail by 12. 
Here's Osman. And Adebayo sends it back. Nance, no good. Well, he leading by 12. Well, their pass it to Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. The Cavaliers have converted one of two free throws so far today. And Cleveland making a change here. Windler's checked in. Heat also with a sub. Goran Dragic is checked in for Kendrick Nunn. I'm sure you've got a list, Greg, of players you've visited with over the years who you really enjoy spending some time with and talking to. I mean, there are so many, Kevin. Uh, a couple guys, and there is a little bias as a point guard, but Damian Lillard and Steph Curry and Chris Paul are three guys that, you know, I enjoy sitting down and talking to shop with. Uh, Giannis, you know, witnessing his journey to greatness all the while he remains humble and really appreciates his position. So several of these guys, I'm also not just an analyst partner, but a fan and a big fan of theirs. You are a fan indeed. Wade, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. He'd also with the sub. Achua, he's checked in for Autobio. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. The Cavaliers trail by nine. Windler, the pass to Sexton. To the inside, Wade. Man's trying to break loose. And it's Wade, that time on the assist by Sexton. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. The shot by Butler, nobody around. No good, unable to end this run. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And stolen by Butler. And here we go. It's Butler. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. The Heat shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Cleveland. Cavaliers trail by 10. Outside, Sexton. And here's Prince outside. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And the Heat going the other way now. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thanks. I was able to talk with J.B. Bickerstaff for a minute. He was admiring Jimmy Butler's competitiveness over a full game. Coach said he doesn't take any plays off. Hold us out tonight. We're going to have to match his intensity and will to win. And that's a tall order against the kid from Tomball, Texas. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Cleveland shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Sexton. Well, Colin Sexton, I think, is a crafty point guard with tremendous upside. He obviously can facilitate and be a distributor. The key is, can he knock down shots consistently? And so he makes both from the line. Miami leading by 10. Pass to Achua. Back to Dragic. Pass to Achua. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The Heat have looked good at the line. Today. They're perfect in four attempts. And the 
first one drops. Oh my gosh, I just got that. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And Larry Nance Jr., son of former NBA great Larry Nance, like his father, Larry Jr. plays well above the rim. Greg, this is a young guy who can go over you, through you, and when he's airborne, this is one of the scariest players to challenge at the rim. A good percentage of Torian Prince shots are from distance, and you can see why right there. Iguodala dishes to Dragic. And he converts the layup. And the Heat lead by 10. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Well, you set the tempo early, and when you get command and control of a game, it's perfect. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Achua, the pass to Dragic. Down low, here's Iguodala. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Boy, Andre Iguodala is such a physical player. His frame allows him to take contact and get a shot at the goal. The Heat have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. The first free throw is good. Well, the veteran leadership, the unselfish attitude, and the versatility of Andre Iguodala, to me, this guy is excellent at whatever is asked of him. And Iguodala drops them both. Oh my and trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. Popped up there for Wade, and he lays in the alley-oop. Well, that's an example of using both vision and playmaking ability to find the open teammate. Sexton is a quality floor general. The dunk by Achua. <laughs> they had been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. They grab their own miss. Sexton for three. The shot, no good. This guy just can't find his rhythm, and you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Baggage against Sexton. Pass to Windler. And it's off from three-point range. Jimmy Butler has been on display for Miami. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Heat team out there. You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. The Cavaliers trail by 14. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court for the Heat, they've got Trevor Ariza. He's out there with Igudala. Dragic is out there with Achua. And it's Struz in at the two guard. Cavaliers with the rebound. Now Sexton. Looking to get it going. And Sexton slams it in. Okay, the initiative from the young bull, Colin Sexton, as some like to call him. How about that drive? 
Bogdanovich against Prince. Achua, the pass to Igudala. Over Sexton. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. Enzo, Sexton will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Down by 12. Wade. That one doesn't go. Good D by Ariza. The Heat have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Prince, the pass to Windler. Now here's Love. Back to Sexton. Clock is at three. From deep three-point range. Rebound by the Heat. Achua's got rebound number five here tonight. Trogic gets the bucket. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. The shot by Sexton, no good. The Heat leading by 14. There's the steal, and here's the break. Windler with the bucket. For Miami, they've gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Strews passes to Dragic. The 19-foot shot. They get it back. It's good on the putback. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Dragic against Sexton. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. You can see right there the strength Colin Sexton brings to the point guard position. Plays right through that contact for the end one. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Wound up shooting 85 from the line a season ago, which is an exceptional percentage. Free throw good, Sexton. When you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts mm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. Okoro kicks to Garland. And there's the pass to Sexton. Down to five on the shot clock. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. None with it. Picked up by Love. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for Sexton. Heat also with the sub. Heroes checked in. Ariza outside. Abayo down low. Working on Allen. None can't get it to fall. The Cavaliers trail by 11. Osman the pass to Okoro. Love outside. Kicks to Okoro. Just five to shoot. It's stolen by Adebayo. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. The Heat have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. Butler, he's checked in for the Heat. Is a Coro. Pass to Osman. He kicks to a Coro. Pass to Love. Six to shoot. Out to the right wing. There's Garland. Not enough on that one as it misses. 
And so it's none with it. He brings it up for the Miami Heat. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. And Darius Garland picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Passes it to Hero. Back to none. Love grabs the board. Love's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now, here's Garland. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet for him. Well, give Darius Garland credit for looking to score. He forces the defense into action. Cleveland shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And if we want to take a look back, they converted about 76% from the line. They throw good. Garland. You know what you love about Darius Garland's potential? It's as a scorer in this league, right? This, he's so aggressive. He plays assertively. And that, to me, is the key for young players. So he gets them both. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. The pass to none. Here's Hero. Back to none. Outside Butler. Shot clock at five. The Cavaliers pull it in. Love's got six rebounds in the game. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, we know that for years the NBA has thought about a postseason play-in tournament to get more teams and fans involved. Last year's pandemic stoppage basically necessitated its implementation. For the NBA, the disruption of business as usual enabled innovation and risk-taking. I don't want to be too hoity-toity, but it was Albert Einstein who once said, in the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. Guys, back to you. You're right. Thank you, David. Now, here's Okoro. Jimmy Butler unable to get his last shot to go. Allen's shot is off. Here's Hero. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Miami with the ball, following the miss by Kevin Love. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. Cavaliers making a switch here. Nance is checked in. By Alitza, he's checked in for Miami. Here's a coral. Out of bounds, Miami takes possession. Heat ball. Heat leading by 12. Hero passes to Autobio. Here's none. Out left to the wing. Hero, no good. Cleveland's gone 0 or 2 from deep here in the second. Osman, the pass to Garland. Kicks it to Okoro. Here's Allen. Rebound by the Heat. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's Hero. Buries it down low. Hero's got four points this quarter. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. I think this is what we call, quote, running a team off the floor. They have been fantastic in transition. Allen trying to break free, and it's Osman missing. And here we go. It's Butler. Well, everyone knows that Jimmy Butler has a scoring mentality, but there makes the extra pass beautiful. The Cavaliers trail by 16. Knocked away and stolen by Butler. And another fast break chance here for the Heat. Here we go. And Adebayo throws it down. Well, I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home. Another to do it in a hostile environment. Boy, just sheer dominance. The ability to step into enemy territory and flat out take over. This is impressive. 
And the Cavaliers call time here. Greg, as a point guard, you must have had so much fun being surrounded by so much terrific talent at UNLV. You know, Larry Johnson, Stacy Ogman, I mean, I could go on and on. And you're right, I was blessed to play alongside these guys. They were incredible talents, finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment. But sure. the fact that we're all still close and stay in contact, uh, man, what an awesome experience to be a part of that team. Chemistry must have been off the charts on that team. It, it was, and, and we had a lot of personalities, man. It was a different era back then. Uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. And so it's Cleveland with it. It's an 18-point game. Osman, the pass to Okoro. They need this one. It's Autobio with the rebound. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Top of the key, Dragic. Back to Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. And how about the court awareness there? Uh, Dragic, fantastic job spotting the wide open teammate. Garland, the pass to Windler. It's tipped. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Dylan Windler taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, he leading by 20. One forty-nine left to play here in the second quarter. Well, Jimmy Butler is always a threat to score. His ability to get to a spot and shoot it with confidence, wow, impressive. Harlan with it. Fires the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Garland's got five points in the quarter. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Here's Struess. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Here's Garland. He's got five. Five to shoot. Fires the three. That one, no good. Now the Heat take it the other way. 22 is their biggest lead. The kick out to Dragic. Heat moving the ball around. Here's Butler in for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Nance outside. Wade outside. There's the dish to Garland. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, they've absolutely dominated that category in this one, and it's reflected in the score. Here's Butler. Again, the Heat, good for two. As dangerous a scorer when he feels his rhythm and pace as there is in the league. Jimmy Butler cooking right now. And so it's Miami riding high with a 23-point lead heading into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. 
Thanks a lot. Andre, how have you guys established things in the first half? Communication. Communication doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but uh, in order for us to be a good team, everyone has to be on the same page, and we're doing it tonight. We'll see if you keep talking in the second half. Thanks, Andre. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Big time play throughout the first half for Jimmy Butler. He ended up with 22 points, six assists, and two steals. This has been a bounce back game for him after some struggles their last time out. Kenny, let's start with you. What'd you think about the Heat? The secret to their success has been Butler, giving his all on every play, making the most of every and each possession. And so far, his shot making has been on another level. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? Well, they gave up too many good looks. Look at the field goal percentage against them. It just tells the whole story. Not enough activity defensively. Not enough disruption, Ernie. Like, Kenny disrupts me all the time. Not enough disruption. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. We are seeing a tremendous game from Jimmy Butler. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. I don't know that you necessarily think of him as someone who's going to create for others, but boy, all night he's been willing to make the extra pass. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Kevin Love out there with the coral. And it's Allen in at the center position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Boy, isn't Kevin crafty with the pump fake, knows how to work his way to the free throw line. The Cavaliers have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Kevin Love at the line for two. Two shots. That free throw, good from Kevin Love. Well, I just love how unselfish Kevin Love is. This guy is willing to adapt and adjust to do what's best for the team. Trevor Ariza's checked in for a chew -up. Both free throws, good from Kevin Love. And so it's none with it. He brings it up for the Heat. Back to Butler, and they double up Butler. None wide open. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got his seventh assist in the game. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Hits it from three-point range. Butler's got 25 points. Boy, this play is perfectly in sync. Butler gets just the space he needs. Sexton with it. Now defended by Adebayo. And staying with the play, Allen. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. Loads it up for Adebayo. An emphatic LU jam. Yes, with strong athleticism, Adebayo can finish just about any lob with his large catch radius. Sexton against Robinson. They get the rebound. Allen, that's good. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. To the middle, Ariza with the bucket. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. For Cleveland, they've gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Robinson against Sexton. He gets that one. Colin Sexton early in his career has demonstrated great instincts in the pick and roll. Good decision making. Back to none. 
inside. Here's Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Love can hit. Miami's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Well, their pass is to none. Ariza with the bucket. Ariza's got four this quarter. A strong finisher around the rim. Ariza with the size to do some damage. Cavaliers have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Sexton against Ariza. Allen. Sexton trying to break free. Allen, that's good. Allen's got 11 points. How about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. Ariza has the open look, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Now, here's Garland. Ariza covering. Now, Garland. He's got five. Here's Love. It's Autobio with the rebound. Adebayo's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And Ariza much improved as a free thrower over the course of his career. For Miami, they have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for Cleveland. And Miami also making a switch. Andre Igudala is checked in for Jimmy Butler. Ariza hits them both. Oh my gosh, I just got that. And here's Sexton. He's got 13. Okoro dishes to Sexton. A floater. It's hauled in by the Heat. Adebayo's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. None. That's good. And what a fantastic start here to the second half. They have yet to miss. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Allen. He dishes it to Sexton. The block shot grabs it out of the air. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. For Miami, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Bam, at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Miami making a change here. Heroes check in. And out of bio. Drops them both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And so Sexton will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They get it. He lays it in. Sexton's got four points this quarter. This young man loves to play through contact and certainly has the frame to absorb it. Go ahead, young Sexton. Left side, Ariza. Pass to none. Loads it up for Adebayo. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Here's Osman. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Sinks that one from the post. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, it's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, 
people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Kawhi Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said, it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half-court game. Teams won't allow you to take wide-open shots or threes. Guys, back to you. D.A., thank you. Tries again, and Adebayo with the lay-in. Adebayo's got eight points here in this quarter. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Allen outside. Here's a Kuro, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Okay, Jared Allen, we see you making that look for a big man. That's a pretty pass. Passes it to Hero. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Hero's got six. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Allen passes to Sexton. Basket good. And that's exactly what they're going for on that shot. Miami's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. To the inside. And it's slammed in by Ariza. Well, what a great look by Andre Iguodala. We know he's unselfish. If there's space for his guy, he's going to find him. Iguodala with the steal. There's the pass to Hero. Pass to Autobio. Up and in. That's his 10th make in the contest. He has only taken 13 shots. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Back to Sexton. To the paint. And that one's good. Osman. Osman's got four points this quarter. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Pass to Iguodala. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Sexton deciding where to go with it. And stolen by Ariza. Loads it up for Adebayo. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Well, you know the unselfishness and professionalism Trevor Ariza gives you. If there's an open man, he'll find him. Passes to Osman. Over Igudala. Oh, and that one has a right spit on it, and it is good. Osman's got six. Hero passes to Igudala. Here's Hero, and he takes that one up and powers it through. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. Here's none. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And in every since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. I got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. Here's Hero. Eight points for him. To the middle. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Nice pass here to set that basket up. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Cavaliers. One shot. And the free throw, no good. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. And here's Dragic. He'll bring it up for the Heat. The pass to Achua. Now, here's Bielitsa. He's tightly guarded. Here's Dragic from outside. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Wade's got his fourth rebound in this one. 
Here's Prince, and that one is good. Prince has got five now. Well, just quick with the decision-making, smart pass by Darius Garland. Now, here's none. 15 points in the game. Wade with the puck, and he gets it back. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Darius Garland picks one up. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. The Heat making a switch here. He's off on the second. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Heat out front, just dominating this one. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. A chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. They've got Robinson. Achua is out there with Bialis. Then there's Drogic. And it's Struce in at the three. Here's Struce. He can't get that one. Good D by Wade. Here's Prince. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul goes against Miami. One of the hardest things to deal with with Torian Prince is trying to match his energy. This guy goes all out every time. Two, two. First one falls for him. And you watch Torian Prince and how valuable he is to his team for a couple of reasons. Number one, he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He defends at a high level, and he can really stretch the floor. And both free throws good for Prince. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Robinson passes to Dragic. to the left side wing. And here's Bielita for three. Drills it from outside. Bielita. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off assists. One minute now into this fourth quarter, and the shot goes in. Well, the toughness of Darius Garland on display wants to finish through contact and get the bucket. Here's Dragic. And he gets the bucket. Now that's a great move to get to the hoop. Awesome finger roll finish. Garland, the pass to Wade. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Cleveland, D. Wade. Taking two shots. And that one falls for Wade. Mm -hmm. 
And both free throws good for Wade. Thank you, Cleveland! And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Miami Heat. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Dragic came into the NBA with something on his resume that not many other rookies have. He has a ring from winning the Slovenian Pro League the year before he came to America. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drives for Goran Dragic. Oh my God, I just got that. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Oh my gosh, I just got that. Here's Prince. Pass to Garland. He can't get that one to fall. Rockets with some nice D. Pass to Struce. to Dragic, beyond the arc. Offensive rebound, Achua. The dunk by Achua. Nice job clearing some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big follow. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shot's now starting to fall. This is it to Dragic. Heat moving the ball around. Here's Robinson. And it's Wade with the rebound. For Cleveland, they've gone two of three for the field to get the fourth quarter start. The pass to Garland. Shoots over Dragic. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Here's Struce, guarded by Prince. Pass to Dragic. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. And it's Dragic with the foul. That's foul number two for him. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And that'll give him a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Garland, the pass to Windler. Second shot opportunity. Wade trying to break free. He takes it up and lays it in. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. The Elita with the bucket. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. Pass to Hartenstein. Friends outside. Off target from outside. Miami's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Outside, Robinson. Cavaliers have gone 3 of 7 from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Garland, no good. The Heat have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. The dunk by Achua. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 10 rebounds. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. His production has been unbelievable. A testament to how much he cares about his craft. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Garland kicks to Prince. Passes it to Garland. Prince outside. Pocket six. Now the pass to Garland. Three-pointer. Prince misses. The Heat have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Now here's Dragic. Defense right on him. Lays it up and banks it in. 
and they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Hartenstein. He's covered by Bielitsa. To end the drought, and another miss by Cleveland. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Rod hits the pass to Bielitsa. Here's Struce. Fires it up. And he overshot that one, missing. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Now here's Dragic. Pass to Achua. And it's blocked. Now here's Garland. He's guarded by Dragic. Prince with it. He kicks it to Garland. And the three ball is good. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Outside Dragic. Here's Robinson. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. The assist. Dragic has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Prince, right side. Pass to Garland. From outside, off the mark. He'd have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. With the teardrop, here's Hartenstein. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Precious Achua. At the line for your Cavaliers, Isaiah Hartenstein. Two shots. Two. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Miami's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Hero. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Windler, the pass to Hartenstein. Dishes it to Garland. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. Pass to Stevens. And here is Garland. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. The pass to Hero. Boy, what a job defensively. You couldn't play that any better. Pass to Stephens. Three-pointer on the way. Miami grabs the miss. Pass to Akpala. Here's Struess. Here's Dedman. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Clock at four. Second chance shot. Hero, no good. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Dedman with the block, and they'll keep possession. Here's Kevin Gelly. Kicks it to Garland. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same. And largely a no-show right here. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for Miami. Duncan Robinson. A 
A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Garland the pass to Hartenstein. Here's Steffens. Five on the clock. Can they get it? And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Miami. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Bam Adebayo. Boy, his defense is what stood out to me. There was a no-fly zone around this guy all night. He contested every shot in his area and sent a few back. Here's Hero. The Cavaliers making the shot. Passes it to Dedman. The shot missing. So Cleveland will take it the other way. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Windler. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Shooting for Cleveland, Dylan Windler at the line for two. Two shots. Relax on the first. And the first one drops. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Thank you, Cleveland! Here's Miami now. And Miami can just let the clock run down here. Here's Hero. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Jimmy, you have been outspoken about the need for maximum effort. Was it part of your plan to grab wins like the one we saw tonight? It wasn't a part of my plan, but whatever works, works. I think we got a, a bunch of talented guys, and at times we forget how hard we got to play. On the road at home, this is how we got to play basketball. Jimmy, thanks for the time, man. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.